before the second last one, I'm like, I'm not blacking yeah, out. Yeah. I'm not giving up at any point. Like it's just really uncomfortable, but you know yeah. you're not gonna fail. Yeah. It's like all you gotta it's gonna be really hard, but all you gotta do is hold it. Yes, just, exactly. Yeah. We are at CrossFit Regular Week in Iceland, um, getting our first session in. Had us in Iceland, so we're getting some quality time and training together. And I got my crew with me. This is a normal day. Frederick and me are training together, and he'll probably finish his barbell cycling before I even started. It usually takes me a while to get going. Then we have conditioning this afternoon, so now it's lifting and some imam work. but there's still like two reps in there where I just feel the hamstring. It's not cramping, but it's tight. Still feeling. Very similar. I think it's more coming from yeah, the inner. May I work on it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's like... Yeah, it's the adapter magnus. I think we're definitely on to something there because it like pulls all the way up to that. All the way there, yeah. Yeah. This is the muscle that I said, I think I said before, like when I was asking, is it more on the inside? Because yeah. it's kind of like the most active hip extensor from below parallel. Okay. So like when you initiate the top, Coming up on the squat, for example, this is the yeah. guy that's doing Ooh. a lot of the work. Okay, irritated. <laughs> Great job. So, you got it, you got it, you got it. extension. I'm really, really, really trying to like, I'm notorious for going fast under the bar, which is great in itself, but not if I'm skipping. Here, I'm looking at this. Like, I want to see this position except and see I'm pulling with my arms a little. Pause. And then this, I want to see up, 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 up. So here, this one was good. Look, I'm still getting, my arms are straight and I'm getting full extension before I drop under, so it's something I'm really working on. Training done for first session. Um, now we're gonna go get some food and get ready for our second session. Second session will be some rowing intervals. It went good overall for me. It's frustrating to me that I still have like a little something going on in groin hamstring area, but I can feel I'm not afraid of the pain anymore. It's just discomfort. So I had to adjust my training a little bit for it, but I was able to get really good training in though. So I feel like it's always frustrating to have to adjust things, but you also need to make sure that you're just getting the most out of whatever you're doing. I'd rather adjust and put full intention and effort into it then do what is prescribed, but half acid and compromise positions. So I honestly was having a really hard time focusing on this training. So I'm a little bit frustrated with how my snatches went, because I do feel like I'm trying to like focus so hard on technique and focus on making some good changes, which I feel like I've been doing and I felt really distracted today. So I'm kind of like, ah, oh. each lift that's not focused or each training session that, not fo that isn't focused, I feel like it's a miss. So I'm like, okay, that kind of sucks. 
And then I'm just finishing up some of my pressing. I have a lot of pressing today. And I do like splitting that up into this. So I'll do half my pressing in the first session and then I finish in the second, just so that I'm not like, otherwise, I feel like with legs, you can keep going forever and with upper body, um, it dies a little bit more. So I like it's more quality if I split it up. And then the second session is more pressing. We're gonna do row and rolls, I'm gonna do them. I probably should do my row and rolls first session, but I really wanna row next to Annie. She is one of the best rowers in the world in our sport. So it's really fun to get to sit next to her and, and that's the barometer of where I want to get to. Right now we're thinking about her back's a little tight. My hamstring is crumbling a little bit on the bike. <laughs> And then I'm thinking, what more excuses could I find? <laughs> Let's go fast. <laughs> yeah, I will. Your soul bike is so nice. Uh, you've been on the echo bike. Yes. Yeah, it's a little go kart. It's like, big, 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 big. You're just saying, like, I've just been training on the echo bike. So it's really funny to go back onto the soul bike. Yeah. It's like, it feels so slow. <laughs> So good, Annie. Come on. So strong. God, you're crushing it. So strong. Before the second last one, I'm like, I'm not blacking out. Yeah. I'm not giving up at any point. Like, it's just really uncomfortable, but you know yeah. you're not gonna fail. Yeah. It's like all you gotta, it's gonna be really hard, but all you gotta do is hold it. Yes, Just, exactly. Yeah. I always feel so accomplished after doing machine work. <laughs> Feels like it doesn't matter what it is, if it's running, rowing, biking, whatever it is, when you have targets and you hit those targets, it gets really hard and you just feel so proud. Yeah. So I'm the exact weight except for on the rower. But I literally just like, if it's running, if it's biking, like assault bike, C2 bike, like anything, I'm skiing, I'm so excited. I know how much it's gonna hurt and I get so excited about it. I'm like, this is gonna be so hard. Like, yeah. Especially when we do things together, I'm like, oh my God, it's gonna be so yes, hard. And I get so we race. excited. Yeah, and to just challenge ourselves, and like when it gets hard, to like try and like overcome that. Yeah. But on the rower, I freak out. Like, I feel like I can't breathe. Like literally my heart rate just doesn't come down. And I'm like, like get, you get tight and it just, you can't breathe. <laughs> I know. <laughs> It it's went, like, I get this the same on the running when I start getting scared of running. I'm good at running, but I can freak out during a run. I don't, I don't feel like I ever freak out on the rower because it's just going to count down. And also with rowing, it's like the full body is just destroyed. It's like numbness in the whole body. I think this is you on the runner. You know how I'm just like, yeah. I'm like, just relax. I'm like, yes. you're holding a great pace. I'm like, you're running fast, but you tense up. I think that's what I do on the rower. I like tense Get up. Get just this panicky and feeling. It gets so and hard then, to then you want to start hyperventilating. Yeah. And yes, we're fine. That's where I'm on the rower. I'm like, just breathe. I'm like, it's just counting down. But yeah, I think that's what I do yeah. on the runner. I might be going really hard and I'm hitting all my speeds. But it's so much harder because mentally I'm dying. Yeah. Just like, I can't do one more. <laughs> so that was this session. We crushed it. And I'm so glad I was supposed to do that first session. I'm like, uh-uh. So I much better like I this. Run with Annie. So much better than this. Or yeah. run with Annie. She makes me stronger. Here for you, babe. Good training day. Good training day. Good training day.